Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is the square root of 2 over 3 raised to the power of x plus 2. This is equal to 27 over 8. So what is the value of x from here? So let's prevent a solution to this problem. So we have the square root of 2 over 3 raised to the power of x plus 2 this is equal to 27 divided by 8 so the first step here we can write square root of 2 over 3 as now if we have square root of a this is the same thing as a raised to the power of half so applying this property here this implies we have 2 over 3 raised to the power of a half, then raised to the power of x plus 2. This is equal to 27 divided by 8. The next step from here, we have that 2 over 3 raised to the power of a half, multiplied by x plus 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power m, which we can express as a to the power of n times m. Applying this exponent property from here, this implies we have 2 over 3 raised to the power of a half multiplied by x plus 2. And this is equal to 27 over 8. The next step from here, we can express 27. This is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3. And we can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3. Substituting this, we have 2 over 3 raised to the power of a half multiplied by x plus 2. This is equal to 3 to the power of 3 divided by 2 to the power of 3. Now we have that 3 to the power of 3 and 2 to the power of 3. This is in the form of a to the power of n over b to the power of n, which we can express as a over b raised to the power of n. Applying this exponent property from here, we have 2 over 3 raised to the power of a half into the parentheses x plus 2. This is equal to 3 over 2 raised to the power of 3. The next step from here, we have a base of 2 over 3 here, and we have a base of 3 over 2. So from here, we are going to apply the reciprocal property. Let's apply the reciprocal property such that if we have a over b raised to the power of n, we can express this as b over a raised to the power of minus n. So we introduce we introduce a negative sign here. Applying this property so that now we have now applying this this property here. Now applying this property, the reciprocal property from here, we have 2 over 3 raised to the power of a half into the parentheses x plus 2. This is equal to 2 over 3 raised to the power of minus 3. So now from here, we have a base of 2 over 3 and we have a base on the right hand side of 2 over 3. So since the bases are common here, that is a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m. So since the bases are common here, the exponent n is equal to m. So let's apply this property so that now we have a half into the parentheses x plus 2. This is equal to negative 3. Now to solve for x here, let's multiply both signs by 2. So that now we will simplify here. We have x plus 2. This is equal to minus 3 times 2. This is minus 6. 
And then let's take 2 on the right hand side so that x is equal to minus 6 minus 2. So that now we have that x is equal to minus 8. So the value of x is equal to minus 8 from here. So let's verify. Let's verify here that this value of x satisfies the equation. If you recall, we have the square root of, this is 2 over 3, raised to the power of x plus 2. This is, this should give us a value of 27 divided by 8. Let's substitute x so that now we have the square root of 2 over 3, raised to the power of minus 8 plus 2 this is supposed to give us a value of 27 over 8 so here we have the square root of 2 over 3 raised to the power of minus 8 plus 2 this is minus 6 this should give us a value of 27 over 8 so now we have that square root of 2 over 3 this is actually in the form of square root of a, which we can express as a to the power of a half. So let's apply this property. Applying this property, then here we have 2 over 3 raised to the power of a half multiplied by minus 6. This is supposed to give us a value of 27 over 8. So let's simplify here, minus 6 divided by 2, this is minus 3. So we have 2 over 3 raised to the power of minus 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 27 over 8. So we have that, if we have a over b raised to the power of minus 1, this can be expressed basically as 1 over a over b and this is essentially equal to b over a so let's apply this property here so that now here we have this is 1 over this is 2 over 3 raised to the power of 3 this should give us a value of 27 over 8 so now from here we have 1 over this is the same thing as 1 divided by 2 over 3 raised to the power of 3 this should give us a value of 27 over 8 so now here we have 1 this is the same thing as 1 times 3 over 2 raised to the power of 3 this should give us a value of 27 over 8 so from here, we have 1 times 3 over 2. This is 3 over 2 raised to the power of 3. This should give us a value of 27 over 8. So from here, 3 over 2 raised to the power 3. This is in the form of A over B raised to the power of N, which we can express as A to the power of N over b to the power of n so let's apply this property so that now here we have 3 to the power of 3 divided by 2 to the power of 3 this is supposed to give us a value of 27 over 8 now here we have 3 to the power of 3 remember 3 to the power of 3 this is equal to 3 times 3 times 3 and this is equal to 27. We have 2 to the power of 3. This is 2 to the power of 3. This is the same thing as 2 times 2 times 2. And this is equal to 8. So therefore, we have 27 over 8 on the left hand side. This is equal to 27 over 8 on the right hand side. So we have that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this proves that the value of x which is equal to minus 8 
satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video and subscribe. Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye.